All right. Today in class, we talked about volume, and volume is the amount of space or the amount that, uh, that fills an object. And so the way you find volume is you use this formula. Um, so we're only going to talk about three objects, cylinder, cone, and sphere today. Okay? So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, where r represents the radius. Remember, the radius is from the center to the edge, which is also the same thing as half of the diameter. And the height is the height on, on the side. So let's say that I gave you a cylinder, and let's say that the radius is 6 um, meters, which is huge, <laughs> excuse me, and the height is 8 meters. And we want to find the volume. So volume is equal to pi r squared h. Well, when we plug it in, we're going um, we're gonna to leave pi as pi. We're going to leave it as the symbol pi. We're not going to plug in 3.14. Um, the radius is 6, so it's going to be times 6 squared. And then the height is equal to 8. So volume is equal to pi. 6 times 6 is 36. And then we've got times the height of 8. So now we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply 36 times 8. we get 288. So the answer is 288 pi, and because it's volume, it's cubic meters. So that's how many cubes that are one meter by one meter by one meter, 288 pi cubes would fit inside um, a cylinder of these dimensions. Again, we're going to leave our answer as pi. Um, we're not going to multiply it by 3.14. And I had a lot of questions today, like, do you have to put the pi first? Well, like, if you're writing 5x, you don't write x5. That just doesn't look right, right? So we want to write it this way. We want to put the number in front of the variable, I mean, in front of the pi sign. All right, now, cone, sorry, let me re-erase this. Um, the formula for the volume of a cone is one-third of pi r squared h. Again, R represents the radius, radius, and H is the height from the center of the cone to the top, or the, you know, or vice versa. The cone is flipped over, um, but it's straight down through the middle. The S represents the slant height, and we don't need slant height when we're finding volume. If you're given the slant height, you don't need it. That's just extra information. So let's say that we have a height here of four um, inches, and we have a radius of. Um, two inches. Okay, we are going to plug it in. We've got volume is equal to one-third of pi r squared h. And so volume is equal to one-third of, we're going to leave pi alone, r is two, so two squared is four, and then my height is four. So when I multiply that all out, 4 times 4 is 16, and I'm going to leave this as 16 over 3. If you could simplify it, like if it was 18 over 3, you would simplify that. But 16 over 3, they do not, 16 and 3 do not have any common factors, so I can't simplify that. Um, and then at times pi, and then we're going to write that um, as cubic inches. So the volume of this cone is 16 over 3 pi cubic inches. Now, um, a sphere... Um, the formula for the volume of a sphere is four-thirds of pi r cubed. And so let's say that we have this object with a radius of three um, uh, centimeters. Okay. And so volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. And that doesn't even look like an r, does it? Okay. R, the radius, is from the center of the sphere to the edge. And it... This is the same radius here, 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 and so on. That's all the radius, okay, from the center to the edge. So when I plug this into my formula, I end up with 4 thirds pi, my radius, which is 3, cubed. So it's going to be 4 thirds of pi, 
and the radius is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Now, when you get to this point, you can either multiply 27 by 4, or if you see a relationship between the 27 and the 3, I would go ahead and divide it just because it makes it easier to do the math in your head. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So the answer is 36 pi, and then because we're talking about centimeters, it's going to be cubic centimeters, and that's the volume of this sphere. Now there are going to be times where you may know the volume and the radius and may be asked to find the height. So for example, let's say that the volume is um, 38 pi and that the radius is, I'm sorry that looks so bad, and the radius is 2 inches. And I guess I should put cubic inches here. All right, so my question would be, what is the height? Well, we're going to go through and do this by plugging in what we know and then figure out what we don't know. So um, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So I'm going to plug in my volume, which is 38 pi. That's equal to pi. My radius is 2, so it's going to be 2 squared times my height. I am going to say, okay, well this is equal to 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi times 4. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to put it as 4 pi over here. Pi times 4 is the same thing as 4 pi. The reason I'm doing that is because then that eliminates my 4 over here and that eliminates my pi right here, leaving me with just h, which is what I'm trying to figure out. And so here, my pi's cancel out as well, leaving me with 38 over 4. Now, I'm going to simplify that to 19 over 2, and that would be equal to the height. So the height here is equal to 19 over 2, and then, of course, we want to put inches because we want to make sure that we put our units.